I have not done a pregnancy update probably for, oh, I don't know, is it like five or six weeks? Uh, I'm 32 weeks pregnant today and uh, I wasn't going to really do another update until another few weeks but I felt like I just wanted to sit down and talk. There's something about talking into a camera without there being any real humans in the room that is uh, quite therapeutic I think. So I'm going to start off with the positives. So let me think, I've not wrote them down on my phone today so this might be a little bit unorganised but uh, all in all physically I am still um, having a really good pregnancy. I'm still able to walk um, good distances with Nelly. I'm still going to the gym probably three or four times a week. Thing things are getting harder but I'm not in pain. Um, it's just more, right, you're going to have to chew that over there darling. Go and get it, go and lie down over there. Things are obviously getting harder because I'm getting heavier but I'm really lucky that I've got touch wood, no heartburn yet, um, no swelling anywhere, no water retention, um, no backache, none of the kind of main physical symptoms that people tend to get around this stage. So I'm just really thankful for that. But yeah, overall it's just been physically a really positive experience for me. Things that are obviously becoming more uncomfortable, like sleeping at night is, uh, I, I wake up probably four or five times a night now, needing to go to the toilet. Um, the baby's very low down, so the midwife says, so the head's very low. Uh, and of course that means that my bladder is, there's a lot of pressure on my bladder, so I'm going to the toilet a lot more, uh, and that includes during the night because it's been hot as well, I've been drinking so much more uh, which obviously contributes to going to the loo a lot more as well when I'm sleeping I'm having to switch from one side to the other every couple of hours just because I get so stiff but just nothing nothing really for me to complain about uh, mentally I spoke before, I spoke quite a lot now I'm quite open about my anxiety um, that is something which calmed down before I went on holiday to Portugal and unfortunately got a lot worse whilst I was there uh, and it's been quite bad since then. I saw the midwife on Monday and she said that baby's growing perfectly. As I said the um, he or she is facing down and have has been, he or she has been for, no you start down, no, no, lay. no, 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 sit down, good girl, he or she has been for as long as basically the midwife has been able to feel what way up they are, so yeah, he or she's just chilling in that position at the moment, I'm very aware that that could change, uh, but fingers crossed it doesn't, and So another update which I'll speak really briefly about because I want to go into more detail about it when I talk about my birth plan but basically I want to have a home birth. Uh, Curtis isn't sure yet so for now I've just asked the midwife if I am okay to have a um, home birth if, I, if we decide that that's what we're going to do. and. She said, brilliant, absolutely, there's no, absolutely no reason why uh, you can't have a home birth. So it's just really good to know that if I do, or if we do decide uh, to go ahead with the home birth, that the midwife's uh, backing me 100%. So that's that. Uh, anything else? No, I don't think so. Uh, the last thing that kind of prompted me to come on here tonight is the fact that 
Um, this is really silly because it's a TV program, but I was watching Love Island and um, like it's the episode when the I'm getting upset already. It's the episode when the uh, contestants' parents come into the villa and there was one little comment that one of the girls said on there that uh, her mum is her rock and she'd missed her so much since being in the villa and couldn't wait to see her. So, it's crazy that it's a bloody TV programme that's made me get so, get so upset about it. I think since I've been pregnant, I keep talking about my anxiety like it's something that, that is just there for no apparent reason but actually Curtis works away oh my god Laura Curtis works away during the week so uh, am I, I'm on my own quite a bit I have friends which I'm doing things most evenings but it's still quite a lonely feeling especially when you're going through a pregnancy we're very used to like long distance because he's always been in the Navy since I've been with him. Um, <clears throat> and then at the minute he's only like at the other side of the country, he's in, he's in Scotland. So <clears throat> he's here for like the weekends, which is absolutely fine. And we're very used to that. We've been together nearly 10 years now. Uh, so I think just being pregnant and being more like emotional and hormones and stuff is just perhaps that's why my anxiety has been brought on but going back to the mum thing um, I think there's an added uh, not pressure but it's like something else added to the mix the fact that my mum's not around and I don't think if you've lost somebody you'll probably know this but like, well, obviously when it happens you're you get a lot of support from people and oh I need to stop yeah, when you first lose someone you get a lot of support from everybody like work colleagues friends family everybody around you kind of obviously really supports you and then after that period of time um of course your friends and family are always going to be there but and like if I I could I can speak to any of my friends about it and like me and my sister talk about it all the time so I know that if I need to talk to anyone about it I know I've got people it's almost the expectation you put on yourself to just get over the death of someone that was so close to you put a massive expectation on yourself uh, oh, I can't speak for everyone who's lost the mum or the dad or someone close to them but you put an expectation on yourself or I, I have that the more time that passes like the less shit you can feel about it it's going to be four years in November so in my head I should be fine I should be uh over the death of my mum like obviously I'm always going to miss it and that's never going to be taken away but I feel like there has to be a point where like I don't cry about it I don't get upset about it I can just live a happy life and I think probably before I was pregnant I think that started to happen <laughs> Um, it definitely started to happen like and it has got so much easier over the years I don't know if it gets easier just because you just get used to that person not being around but you still miss them <laughs> and obviously since like when I got pregnant it was a oh 
oh my god how many times have I said it it was a massive shock blah 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 and the one person that I just wanted to call to talk to about it was my mum and she would have been so excited she couldn't wait to be a grandma and unfortunately that I've come off to talk really slow so I don't get carried away Ooh. unfortunately that never happened for her and I always remember her when she was in hospital and the doctor told her that basically it wasn't good what they'd found and that she didn't have long left to live the first thing she said to me and Hannah was like I'm really sorry I'm not I'm not going to be around to see your children so I think all these months the past eight months have been struggling with anxiety and I keep putting it down to Curtis being away and uh, hormones etc which contribute 100% definitely but I don't think I've given myself enough credit uh, for the fact that I can't share the experience I can't share the experience with my mum the one person and yeah unfortunately tonight is when I've had this massive realisation that I've plodded along it's so awkward seeing other people cry Whew. she hasn't been with me over the past 8 months she's not going to be there with me over the birth she's not going to be able to see my baby uh, and that really 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 hurts and rather than like dealing with it and having to think about it I have just get pushing it out and I think tonight like Chris has just gone home but not home sorry he's gone back to work so I'm just sat on my own just thinking about it and it's literally just like hit me like a ton of bricks I've 100% not made this video for a pity party I definitely definitely do not want people to feel sorry for me millions of people go through exactly the same thing that I've been through millions of people go through so much worse than I've been through it's just I honestly really felt like talking about it because I've spoke a lot about my anxiety and I think half the time like I don't understand why the anxiety has been so bad in my pregnancy and I'm all, I feel like a light bulb has almost clicked on tonight I don't think my mum is the sole reason for my anxiety but I think it's a big contributing factor and yeah it was part of this week's pregnancy update so many positive things going on so thankful for a healthy pregnancy um, but yeah, like just, life's just not smooth sailing. Everybody goes through ups and downs. This is just one of those downs that I'm gonna have to just kind of learn how to deal with and how to tackle and yeah. Okay, right, I'm leaving it there. Thank you all for watching and I shall, I think my next video because I'm seeing the midwife a week on, a week tomorrow seeing the midwife to do my birth plan so yeah I think my next video will be my birth plan or preferences as we know things can definitely change when giving birth so but yeah I think I fancy doing that for my next video so I think I'm gonna go to bed now see you all soon bye